Hello guys, welcome once more to the GCE panel. In this particular paper, we are looking at June 2018, Pure Math Mechanics Advanced Level Paper 2, Question 2. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for us to give you the best and to leave your comments. Share our videos on social media and all different platforms in which you find yourself to encourage us to make more video. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel as you watch this video. Let's look at this first question, which is, Given that one of the roots of the quadratic equation x squared minus 8x plus k equals 0 is three times the other, find the values of the constant k. Hence, solve the equation x squared minus 8x plus k equals 0. The sub 2 of the equation reads a relation r is defined on the set of integers by a relates b if a plus 2b is a multiple of 3. Show that r is an equivalent relation. So let's tackle this question, guys. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and you can watch the remaining videos on the link below this video. Or if you click anywhere on this screen, you will see a certain link which will lead you to the website with the remaining questions. Let's tackle this question. So let's of the, let the roots be alpha and three alpha. We can use a plus three a and so on because you see one root is three times the other. So from here, the sum of roots will be three alpha plus alpha, which is four alpha. And the product will be three alpha times alpha, which is three alpha squared. So at this point, x squared minus eight x plus k should be identical to, that is in some product form, x squared minus sum of roots, so minus four alpha x plus products plus three alpha squared. So from here, equating coefficients, we will have four alpha to be equal to eight. That's the, the coefficient of x. And equating the coefficients of the constant term or the constant term, you have k to be equal to three alpha squared. Now from the first part where four alpha equals eight alpha will be equal to two and substituting that in k, which is equal to three alpha squared, that will give us 12. So the value of k is 12. This was actually really simple. Now they said we should find uh, the solution to this quadratic equation. Now that we know that alpha is equal to, uh, so rather k is equal to 12, so this will give us x squared minus 8x plus 12 equals 0. At this point, you can apply the quadratic formula or you can use factorization. I love factorization, except the number becomes complex. So here you have x squared minus 6x minus 2x plus 12 equals 0. Where are this coming from? These are the two factors that when you multiply, you will have c. And when you add, you have b. So when you multiply minus 6 by minus 2, you have plus 12. And when you, when you add, negative six to negative two, you have negative eight. All right, so the negative and the minus are interchangeably used in most of our videos, but note that the numbers are either a negative number or a positive number, okay? So here, when we completely factorize, we have x minus six into x minus two equals zero, and from here, x equals two or x equals six. So these are the roots of this quadratic equation. Now the B part of this question is a bit uh, technical because it says that the relation is defined such that A plus two B is an odd number, shows that this relation is an equivalent relation. So the relation A relates B if A plus B is actually a multiple of three. A relates B if A plus two B is a multiple of three. So let's look at, let's uh, look at uh, the relation. Now, for a relation to be an equivalent relation, it has to be reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. If any of these properties fail, then that relation is not an equivalent relation. So we start by looking at reflexiveness. So for each element A, which is an element of the set of Z, A can relate to itself. So if A relates to itself, we have A plus 2A, which is equal to 3A. And 3 times any number is a multiple of 3. So here, this is clearly divisible by three, implying A relates A for each A, an element of the set of integers. So this relation is reflexive. The next thing we have to test now is being symmetric. So symmetry, we actually use what was given the definition. A relates B, A plus two B is, equal, is an element of the set of multiples of three. So for symmetry, we will check if, the solution of A relates B being a multiple of three also implies B relates A is a multiple of three. So let's A relates B implies A plus two B is a multiple of three. Let's call it three M where M is some sort of an, it's an integer. 
So A less B implies A plus 2B is a multiple of 3. That's 3M, where M is an integer. Now, let's check and see if B relates A also be a multiple of 3. So B relates A will be written as B plus 2A. That should be equal to, now we already have B. So we can make A the subject of the formula from this uh, first part up here. Make A the subject of the formula. This is the trick you have to use in this question. So from this first part I wrote here, A plus 2B equals 3M. A, making A the subject of the formula will give me A to be 3M minus 2B. So instead of writing 2A here, I'm going to write 2 into 3M minus 2B. Now, when I open out this, I'm going to have B plus 6M uh, minus 4B, which will be equal to 6M minus 3B. And 6M minus 3B, when you factorize, you have 3 into 2M minus B. And since it's three times a certain number, it means this is a multiple of three because you know that M was an integer and B is an integer, right? So therefore 3M is an integer as well. And let's call this M prime. So here it is clearly showing that M prime, which is called 2M minus 3B is clearly an integer like we have just stated. And therefore R, B relates A whenever A relates B. So this relation is also symmetric. So the key is here. If you missed out anything here, please look at this question again because many students could not have the solution to this. Now the third property is, is to trace, uh, test for the relation being transitive. So for transitive relations, you're, you're always being told this story that if A is a friend of B and B is a friend of C, therefore A is a friend of C. That's what we are testing here. So if A relates B, implies A plus 2B is a multiple of three, and B relates C implies B plus 2C is a multiple of three, therefore A relates C should imply A plus 2C is a multiple of three. That's what I'm testing here. So let A relate B equal to A plus 2B, which is 3M as we had previously in symmetry. Next, once we check for B now relating to another integer C. So B relates C will be B plus 2C equals three, we have already used M, we can call, let us call this N, or we can use any other constant. So from here, A relates C will be A plus 2C, which is equal to A plus, now instead of writing uh, 2C, I'm going to replace 2C by what I have here. My 2C is equal to 3N minus B from, this previous, from the previous line. So that would be 3N minus B. So that would be 3N, plus A minus B, okay? And from here, what is A minus B? How do we get our A minus B? From here, our A minus B will be 3M minus 2B. So that's what we are going to do to have the value of uh, A. So you can replace A by uh, 3M minus 2B. Now, what are, why are we doing this? If you look at symmetry, look at symmetry. We replace A by 3M minus 2B. So it's the same stuff here, okay? And if, if you look at transitiveness, the first I think you wrote here was A relates B implies that. So we are, related, we are replacing this A still by 3M minus 2B. We now open out and simplify. We will end up with three into N plus M minus B. It's equal to three times a certain integer. Let's call it now M prime prime where M is an integer because N is an integer and M is an integer as well as B being an integer. So M prime prime is an integer. And here, this is clearly a multiple of three. And therefore, this relation is transitive. Now, since the reflexive property holds, the symmetric property holds and the transitive property has held, then this relation is an equivalent relation on Z. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please subscribe and promote the work of those who are putting in a lot to make sure that they support you in your education. Please, if you are watching our content and you have not yet subscribed or you have not made others to subscribe, then you are actually not helping us because the more subscribers we have, the more content we will produce. This content might not help you directly. They will help your brothers, your sisters, and your friends. And that will be something great. So guys, please, Share these our videos and ask others to subscribe while you yourself is subscribed. To have the complete video of these corrections and corrections for 2021, 2020, and many other past years, not just in mathematics, 
go to our website that is that you can see below this video www.gcmathpanel.blogspot.com and you have everything you have there you can have revision notes and past questions so past questions check all your past questions on our website thank you and may god bless you as you prepare for your exams bye bye